What's going on guys? Tyler here with another Elementor video. I was actually really surprised at how many people requested this feature and that's making an entire section in Elementor clickable, which I can understand. It was just surprising me as how many people actually want this feature. So I wanted to make a video showing you how to actually achieve this. Now in this video, we're actually gonna have two different methods of achieving this. So you'll wanna stick around for the whole video to see which fits your circumstances best. Now guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider smashing that nice red looking subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It helps me grow the family nice and big and I'm getting a lot of support lately on my channel. So thank you guys so much for those that are subscribing. It really means so much to me. So thank you for that. And if you're new, please consider doing that as well. Now, if you guys are interested in Elementor Pro, which is the premium version of Elementor, which comes with premium widgets, it comes with premium functionality of how to actually use Elementor and get data from Elementor. It comes with support, so if you run into any issues on your site using Elementor, you can actually reach out to their support team and they will help you get the issues resolved. Um, I've actually had to do that and it was a great experience. I had a great, great experience with Elementor support. So if you're interested in upgrading to all of that awesome, awesome features. You can actually do that by clicking the link down below in the description. See what kind of price you can get for it. It's a content packed plugin for a very, very, very low price. So I always recommend it if you haven't upgraded already. And I believe actually one of the features that we're gonna talk about today is an Elementor Pro only feature. So you'll want to make sure you're upgraded. Now let's go ahead and jump into my computer and get started. All right, guys, like I said, let's go ahead and jump into my computer here. And this is just an example website, uh, just a page that I've built basically using Elementor for tutorials and stuff like that. But you can see these, these social icons are actually fading and changing colors. Pretty cool effect. If you guys are interested in learning how to do that, you can actually click the card that is up right there, up top and uh, see and learn how to do that right there. I thought it was a pretty cool feature and it makes kind of this cool effect to your website. Okay, now what we're trying to achieve achieve here is to make this whole section right here, everything from this beautiful profile picture of me down to this content box that has a bunch of nonsense in it. We want this whole section to be clickable. So when a user hovers over it, it's a link or when they're on their phone and they tap anywhere in this whole section, it goes to a specific website. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to redirect them back to the home page. No big deal. I'm not too worried about the link, but this is if you're maybe converting on a sales funnel or something like this, this is where you're going to want to put your link for the section. Now to do this, we're actually going to go over here to the elements menu and you're going to see down here under the pro version, we have a specific element called call to action. And if we drag that in, you can actually see how this works. Basically we have a cool like image in the background that kind of fades in and kind of turns dark when we hover over it. And then we've got a heading, uh, some content and a button, right? It looks like a good section for a call to action. Like here's, you know, the product and here's what it's called and here's a little bit about it click this button and we're good to go so that's pretty pretty cool what you can do is go ahead and stylize this if this style is going to work okay for you for the whole section that you want to be your call to action section you can go ahead add your image adjust your content change your heading your description all of that and then what you're actually going to do is go down here to the link and once you add a link, you'll get another option for this element. So again, right over here, we'll just put in, um, we'll just put in my website, tyleremorrison.com. Again, I don't have www or HTTP, so it's really not even gonna send it anywhere. But basically, once I have this link set up, you can see here, it has an option to apply link on. And right over here, we're gonna hit instead of button only, we want to apply this to the whole box. So let's leave it on button only. This is right here. If I hover over it, you can see my cursor turns to a, a little um, finger clicker, you know, so, to tell me there's a link there. When I hover over the button, now if we switch it over to whole box, the entire box now turns into a link. And anywhere I click on this box will redirect me to that link that I've set up right here. So that is the first method. It is the easiest, easiest method. It is very very, very simple, very straightforward. This is an Elementor Pro feature. So if you haven't upgraded to Elementor Pro and you want that awesome feature and want to just drag call to action elements everywhere on your page, be sure and check out that link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for it and get started today.
day. All right, guys, let's talk about the second method. Now, maybe you don't have Elementor Pro and you still wanna achieve this effect right here, or maybe you do have Elementor Pro, but you wanna have the effect on a section that you've already styled. Now, the first method is awesome because you can literally just drag and drop it and then replace little parts and you're good to go. The second method is a little bit different. It requires a tiny, tiny bit of code. I mean, I'm talking tiny, one line of code. Um, but it is not the most conventional method of how you would actually do this if you were coding things out. So just keep that in mind. There are some kind of limitations here, I guess I would say. Um, there could be a chance maybe it doesn't work on all devices or something like that. I haven't really ran into that problem yet, but I do just want to have that disclaimer there. Um, the safest method is definitely the first method using Elementor Pro. Now what we're going to do is actually go over to the column here that is containing all of the content that we need. Need here we're gonna hit add up column and if you have multiple columns you should be able to do this just with multiple um, columns just go ahead and edit them we need to go over to layout and under the layout section we'll go over to widget spaces let's go ahead and leave this to zero now once we have that down to zero um, actually somebody just purchased Elementor Pro so congratulations to whoever that was I just got an email saying that somebody upgraded to Elementor Pro congrats for you I am super excited for you to join us and start your journey journey on Elementor Pro and designing awesome websites with that. Now what we're doing here is basically taking the widget spacing out of the, the spacing in between each widget. So as you can see, there's no real space here. Um, this will be kind of nice because we don't necessarily want a lot of space in between because that might not trigger the link to work. So instead what I would do is add a little bit of padding or a little bit of margin to each one of these little sections. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's just show you how the link works. What we're gonna do is go over back to the element here and we're going to grab an HTML element. Now this should be in all of the, the standard version and the pro version, but what we're going to do is drag this in. We need it before for your content. So before any of the content on that section. And what we're gonna do is actually write some code here. I've written this code a million times probably because I've coded in the past because it's a very common piece of code. Basically we're writing a link code. So what I'm gonna do over here is we're just gonna write it out. We're gonna do open bracket and we're gonna do a and then H R E F A href equals and then we're going to do a open quote so double quote excuse me an open double quote here and then what we're going to do is put in the website that we are referring to or the link that we're referring to so for this case i said i would refer to the home page i'm just going to put in tyler e excuse me we do need the http here so http s colon slash slash and again you can just copy this from your url of where you're trying to send people to but we do need that in there and then we put in our website tyleremorrison.com and boom we are done there and then we just arrow over because you can see the elementor has put in the double quote to close it so make sure your whole website is in quotes and then we just simply close the bracket now when you close the bracket something happens you can see this this little text popped up that has an open bracket a slash a and close bracket we need to delete that we don't want that there so once we have that deleted basically we are good to go you can go ahead and check and make sure everything looks good that it looks exactly like i've written it here on the video just replacing my website with your website now what we're going to do is actually do another html uh, element over here so we'll hit menu and back and we'll search for it again html and we'll drag it in this one has to go at the bottom it's important that it goes at the bottom so if you're running into problems make sure they're at the top make sure they're at the bottom and that could solve your issue here in this one we are just going to write something very very simple and you've already seen it it's what we erased earlier we are going to put open bracket a slash a as an apple and then a close bracket right there that's all we're writing in that one and then we can go ahead and click off of it and go back and uh, we are good to go so you've got these two html pieces on the top and the bottom let's go ahead and hit update and see the page and see if it works and we will show up here and as you can see boom as soon as i'm over the section boom it's working anywhere that i'm on here Anywhere that I click here will take me to my homepage. And just so you guys can see, I went ahead and did a click off the 
edge of the of the image here like over here and boom it takes me to the home page so that's how you guys can do it again make sure your code is at the start and then it doesn't have anything after your close bracket and then at the end make sure it's just that little piece the open bracket slash a close bracket and that guys is the second method now guys thank you so much for watching today's video i really have appreciated you stopping by and checking it out if you're new to the channel be sure and smash that nice red looking subscribe button i would really appreciate it it helps me grow the fam nice and big and you can be notified of upcoming elementor videos just like this one and last but not least be sure and check out that link down below in the description see what kind of price you can get for elementor pro it really is an awesome plugin. And as you saw here, you can even basically achieve the same effect by just dragging in an element, the call to action element instead of coding. So if you guys are interested in upgrading, click on that link and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.